Hello people of the internet, it's Amanda and for today's video, I'm here to talk about a Japanese TV short slash special episode that is more or less just around 40 minutes and is a standalone so it's not exactly a movie it's not exactly a drama but just somewhere in between um and this is remoto de korosereru which i have seen a couple of weeks back when they were teasing it but i never really expected to see it last night it was more of like i was looking for something to watch and i gave it a shot um and it was quite interesting and that's the reason why I want to talk about it. However, I have to warn you that the the drama itself and the, the things that I'm going to be talking about in this particular video um, covers topics like substance abuse, suicide, um, and all these things with very serious um, themes and matters as well. So just keep that in mind if you proceed to watch this drama or you proceed to watch this um, recap slash review video that out of the way so basically the story revol now what i want to highlight first is that this particular film special um is is filmed in a way that it mimics zoom or skype calls um which is very fitting considering that the setup is um around like during this time the pandemic so the characters are so let me pull up my list right here Honda Tsubasa, Aratama Kenyu, Emoto Tokyo, Saoto Mataichi, uh, Maino Tomoya, Saito Asuka, and Maida Atsuko. Now, they, those six of them are involved in the video call, and then some of the other characters are involved further into the rest of the narrative. Now, if you've seen the Western film Unfriended, so the format is very similar. However, this isn't exactly limited to just you know the screen format like there are still some scenes shown that happens you know like what happens behind the scenes from what we were currently just seeing from the perspective of each person and their computers um so it's definitely a very interesting um format but not exactly new now the reason why i ended up you know wanting to talk about it is because of first and foremost like the pacing of the story so it revolves around high school friends who haven't exactly gotten in touch with each other lately. It's been seven years since they graduated um, and a certain incident tied them all together as well. Um, so there's that. Now there's just, you know, catching up with one another until a very like eerie instance started happening, which is one of their friends who was not in the video call is um, being hunted by the police or each of them are being called by the police um, and being asked about you know the whereabouts of that particular friend so all of them are just sort of like confused and then suddenly a, an incident from their high school days um, came up which is one of their former classmates committed suicide and they were at the scene when it happened but they were all high they were like partying and everything like that and so they were the only like witnesses supposedly as to what happened but they were so afraid of being expelled being caught being just judged given the situation that they never like they just run ran away from from the situation um now through here it it definitely um like escalates very very quickly from just a quick chat up with your old friends to panicking about what's going on because what happens is that um while the what they call this like while they were talking so the friend that they're actually talking about kazuma's house gets burned down so they saw it in the news unravel and then from there like one by one they start to be threatened one of the members of the group you know suddenly like leaves like goes off screen and then they haven't heard of and then they stopped hearing from that person but the camera is still on so the level of suspense and thrill and given the brevity of this i think is very brilliantly done in a way um however i wouldn't go as far as saying that it's an unpredictable story because i think midway through you would start to realize and suspect like certain like who is who are who 
might be the suspect between the people that are having the conversation. Now, with that said, um, I think that one, it ended very weirdly, I guess. Um, it ended in a way that it had this like huge reveal as to who the murderer was. But then at the same time, I felt like it was just a very, I think the downside that I would want to point out is it's one of those narratives that tried to cop out with, with a plot twist. And it ended up antagonizing like a certain um, identification, more of like, um, it, uh, I wouldn't want to spoil it because it's just a very short episode. Um, and I feel like, you know, it's something that um, would be interesting for people to watch. So I wouldn't say exactly what it is, but I felt like the conclusion was like, it was okay. It's just that it felt like it was antagonizing like a certain preference, which I'm not sure exactly like how to feel about that. But in terms of just the delivery of the narrative, I would say that this is brilliantly done considering the, the filming restrictions that went on into the production probably. And it was also very well acted. Like it definitely felt like these people are very much well acquainted despite the remoteness and the nature of how they're communicating. I would want to highlight Tsubasa Honda's acting is definitely, you know, very, very convincing for this one. Um, and then also, like, even Makinu's acting has definitely improved a lot ever since, like, when he started from the industry. So that's one, that, those are the things to highlight. Um, and just overall, I think it's very, the, the idea, despite the fact that it's not exactly new, the delivery is really good. So I like how they didn't stretch it too long to the point that it, that it would, um, go sour but at the same time like it's just pretty okay in a way now it would leave you wanting more <laughs> um and at the same time like i feel like they released a hulu special that expands into the story further but just considering the the special itself i would say that it's it's a pretty interesting watch if you're just in for like i don't know just 40 45 minutes of your time and you just want something that's you know a pretty de decent thing to watch it i think it definitely like even if it doesn't discuss the topics directly it talks about you know issues of i think like there's there's suicide and at the same time there's also like um slut shaming in a way and how we never really know what goes on with another person and at the same time like um, how bad it is for like in friendships if you go as far as like tolerating the bad things that go within your circle just because or just the stupid things that you do as a, like there's one thing in terms of being stupid and then another when it's just full on reckless and I think it taps on that but again given the brevity of the of this um, drama it's really up to the interpretation of the viewer itself so it is something that you have to watch with caution but overall if you're just looking at entertainment value and something that you feel like is um you would want to spend time on but not exactly commit to for an entire hour and a half or so so this one is actually a pre uh, a pretty decent thing to go ahead and click play on so yeah now with that said so tell me down in the comments below have you seen it are you planning to see it what are your thoughts on it anything um if you know any other like thrillers or something like that within the same genre as this one so also tell me down in the comments below i would love to check them out um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel and you would want to hear more from me please hit subscribe thank you so much for watching this video and i hope to see you again soon in a new one